hi guys and welcome to another video this video will be a video on my kit it's like a storage collection video so i'm gonna break them up um this video is just gonna be my kits and i keep my kits in two different binders this is the binder that um i first started the whole binder system with just putting my kits in binder then i transitioned into putting my functionals my foils things like that into binders <clears throat> as well so this is the first binder i ever actually bought and this lettering that says jazz plants is from um love shiver i just took it from an order that she did and glued it on there and this this one says follow your dreams and this is a bow from um simply good it doesn't match it but i didn't know where else to put this bow and i like it so this is a binder i got it from target and these and this binder is my kits that i'm planning like i have a date to where i'm going to use them or i'm planning to use them in the future so um it's a little big we'll fix that so this is a freebie that I got from Once More With Love. I just printed it out. This is before I got um, like card stock. This is just regular paper and I just put it in there. And this is the kit that I'm using next week. So sometimes if I am using a kit and I want to make sure I remember what I want to use, I will throw it in there. This is the Two Little Bees kit that I'll be using. Um... They're not in order i did um try this thing um i got these from pretty pretty mm, excuse me i got these from pretty old paper code um but i don't really use them that much because this says april monthly and this isn't april monthly um i don't know if you guys want to like see every kit or not but this is the um two little be not two little bees my little my newest addiction um succulent kit and sometimes like this freebie it matches well, it doesn't match the kit but i don't want to lose it so i'll put it in there <laughs> so sometimes i try to keep my kits where the full boxes are showing because then i don't know like what colors i need to pull things like that so that's this kit and then I have this this kit might be moved over because I don't have it I don't know what I'm gonna use this kit but it's from um little miss paper and little miss yeah little miss paper so that's here and um I've been into planning since August um, so some of my older kits are in this planner. Um, this kit is from Hello Petite Paper. This is, um, I think this is the 4th of July kit that I bought during the sale and I was like, how I don't think I realized that it was 4th of July, but, oh no, this isn't the 4th of July, this is the smile one. I have a smile one. I mean, I have a 4th of July. So that's the smile. And then, see, this is how I like to keep them in there. I don't know what this is. And these um, protective covers I got just from Staples and Target. It's from Little Miss Baby Free. Sometimes I double them up. If if I want to make sure that I remember that I have this kit, I'll double them up. Um, but sometimes they only have one in them. This is from Sweet Bella XOXO. This is um one of the like first kits that I bought from Gym Design Studio. Um, this may get moved over because I really want to use this next winter. This is from Shop Jessica Hearts. Oh wait, you guys. Let me go back. Okay. So I'm not sure if you guys were able to see this side of the book, the binder. So this is from Sweet Bella XOXO. And then this is Shop Jessica Hart. And this is from Soda Pop Studio. 
I don't know when I'm going to use this kit. I've asked before. I need to ask Megan. <laughs> I just don't know when to use it. I love it. It's like stationary um, love kit. So then I have these two spring kits that I should probably pull up to the front because I'm going to use these soon. This is my first kit ever from um, the Crafty Banana. I bought this in a PVC sale. Then I got this one from Planet Roses. I bought this kit on a... Um, was it a buy sale trade group? I think, or no, I think I just bought it from a D stash. This is from a D stash um, as well. This is this is Paper Dove Shop, and this is um, Scorpius Co. Never Give Up Mini Kit. This is um, Shop Just Hearts Blossom. I bought this in a D stash. This is from Hello Simple Paper. So yeah, this one I bought for my anniversary and I ended up using a different kit. This is the love kit from Scorpius Co. And I have some mini kits from the Standard Essential. Then I have this um, Jet Setter kit from um, Piper Paper Company. Oh, I think it's just Jet Set. And I bought this kit Black Friday because it was like buy two kits, get a kit free. So I just picked this one up. So then I have this kit is from Piper Paper Company once upon a time. Don't know when I'm gonna use this kit. This is October Mystery um, from Scroll Prince Co. I wanted to use it in April, but I don't think I am. This is the Explore Collection from Planet Bell Press. I really like her formats of her kit. I don't um, use her kits that often, but I like the formats of her kit. And they are um, a lot cheaper with the same clip art. So I think this kit was. Um, the full kit was $12. Let me get to the, yeah, the full boxes. I like this. I am going somewhere um, in August. So I may use this or the Jet Set kit. Or I may use this, the Jet Set kit when I travel. And this is a rewind. Not sure yet. This is the um, July 4th kit that I was talking about from Hello Petite Paper. A lot of shops just released. Um, July 4th kits, but I was like, I have this kit, and this, this kit is perfect for July 4th. So, I'm going to use this kit, and this um, I got from Sugary Gal Shop. It is um, the the happy birthday theme one. This um, I got this for my niece to use for my niece's birthday. Um, so, yeah, then I have. Uh, Panda Bird Design Kit and sometimes I keep the kit in the plastic but sometimes I don't if I haul it and I forget to put it back in the plastic I won't do that I won't use the plastic and this kit is from the um, mystery February mystery kit from Scrovers Co then I have Princess from um, Hello Petite no uh, Little Miss Paper Room, where are the full, the full boxes? This is Princess like 3.0. I really like it. I like it for um, winter. So, I haven't, um, this fall will be like, like a re repeat of, like I have fall in this planet that I have right now. So I'm interested in seeing the artwork that comes out. So this is from Sweet Bella XOXO. I bought this from a um, Facebook group. Um, it's the brunch kit from Scrooge Prince Co. It's an older kit and format. It has time dots. That's crazy. Definitely was not into planning. And if she had this freebie, this is the freebie that she, um, well no. It's similar to the freebie that she just stopped doing, but um, instead of having SPC new releases, this was a payday flight. But um, yeah, so I bought this. I wanted to use it maybe for the week of my birth, like not my birth as my birthday kit, but like the week I celebrated because last year I had a brunch, and I'm pretty sure I made to like a brunch themed something so if I'm maybe can I, I can use it in my tan or something like that. So 
So I picked that up. It says from Little Paper Print. Uh, let's see. Her kits are huge. I haven't used it yet though. I should have used it when I had the chance to use it. But I'm thinking I can use this in the fall though. So I'm definitely gonna put this to the top of my list in fall. And what I plan to do for when like fall comes back around is seeing how many kits I have for fall and then going from there. Cause I'm not a a kit hoarder. I really like to use my kits as soon as I get them because I don't feel like I have a lot of kits to like just pull from. And this is um, from Simply Watercolor Co. It's like the tea time thing. I plan on using this in my tan for Mother's Day weekend because Mother's week Mother's Day weekend is the same weekend as my niece's birthday. So in my main spread, in my AC, I will be using a birthday kit. But like I was saying, um, I'm not a kit hoarder. I feel as though I use my kits up as soon as I get them. Sometimes I don't even haul them um, all that well before I use them or the haul goes up after I use the kit. But I think that I am um, very like, oh this kit is for this reason so I can't use it before or after like seasonally. So this is one of the um, kits that I bought for winter that I didn't have room for. I bought this one for Valentine's Day. This is uh, playing like a pro. I didn't have room for this kit. I bought this last year when I first got to planning. I was planning on going to the beach. I was planning on going to the beach, but I didn't. This is from Stick Sticky Situation Girl. So I think I may use this. Um, this year or it looks like a mini kit so maybe I'll use it in my TM. I'm gonna have a kit from Domain Paper Co. I don't think this shop exists anymore because she's also where I got my scandal um script. She's also where I got my scandal scripts and they are like I tried to look her up and I didn't see her. Okay this kit is from Simply Watercolor Co. This was a Christmas mini kit and then I bought it. Um, I wish I had a TN back then because I would have used it in my TN. But um, I bought it and then I ended up buying another Christmas kit so I didn't have space for it. I used um, a full kit from... Uh, I can't remember right now. And then I have um, this kit from Planner Esque. Now this is a kit that I want to make sure that I use at all time. Um, I think I'm going to use this in October as well um, because when I bought the kit I didn't realize how fall it was and I love planarized kits I think I've used th this is so pretty so yeah, I think I'm going to use it in October I'm not into using Halloween kits all of October because I don't really care for Halloween and my birthday is in October so my birthday is two days before Halloween, so I can't worry about my birthday. So this is another kit that I got from the Mini Paper Code. I think these two kits are Happy Planner kits. I think that's what it is, so I may not ever use those. And this is the January Mystery Kit from Scribble Prince Co. It's so pretty. Um, I haven't seen any more artwork for a birthday kit that I really like. Last year I used two little bees. Um, I don't like the dog in this kit. And I only have the mini kit so I don't have another option. Yeah, I think the... F so maybe if another like shop comes up with the artwork, I can use this in my um, travel notebook and then use... Cause then I, I got the glitter headers. I think I put, I picked up the fashion girls and the glitter headers after she when she released them to the shop. So yeah, but I do love this artwork. This artwork is gorgeous. I don't like how she puts SPC on everything. Like this bottle says <laughs> rose SPC. I mean, come on.
So that is the January um, birthday kit from SBC. And then I got this kit from Strawberry Lime Designs. Strawberry Lime Designs. This is the second kit I got from her. I think uh, it's called Cupcake. This artwork was going around. I liked um, the marble she brought it to and then blues. But I just don't know what I'm using. Then I have the November, November Mystery Kit. Um, I want to use this in December too. So my kit buying situation for like October I don't have a lot of kits for the November but I have some kits for October and December so that's that's good that should save me money and then I'll probably buy some kits for Black Friday um I mean on Black Friday and then I have this stuck inside our baby it's cold outside this is from Sadie stickers um this is another December kit I want to use and this is a awesome the kit I bought and I didn't have any space for it. Um, this is winter. The name of this kit is winter floral. But I just didn't know when to use it. Um, I think maybe the fall, maybe. I love the florals, the reds, the greens. It reminds me of fall. So. And then I got this monthly kit. But... I already had a monthly kit and they sent me an extra monthly, monthly kit. So that's there. And then I have another Valentine's Day kit that I didn't have any room for. Um, I was buying a lot of Valentine's Day kits. So then I have this pretty in pink. And this is a photo kit. And I was wondering why I didn't. I don't know. Why didn't I use this? I don't know. To me, um, when I tried out Sadie stickers, Sadie stickers reminds me a lot of the style of Scribble Prince Co. I think they use the same font as well. And um, her kits have so much to them. I love that about her kits. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll use this one in Ron's Times Day. I like the paper. I'm not sure. I think this was her, uh, no, it wasn't her Black Friday exclusive kit. I'm not sure. And then I have a kit from Soda Pop Studio. I think the last one. Yep. And I thought this kit was more, um, I think I used one thing from this kit. What was it? Yeah, I used a uh, checkbox. But I thought this kit was more for January, but I just didn't have any time in January to use it. So, that's so this video includes my kits and like binder system collection video. So next I can e either do foil or functional and then I have character 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 stickers maybe like my smallest video because I'm not into that many character stickers um a lot of people characters are like animals or things like that and I'm not into that in my planner so um let me know down below if you want for you or functional and I'll get that video up for you guys so thank you guys for watching as always and I hope you enjoy this video bye guys